Hi, my name is Noelle and this is my testimony. I've been raised in a Christian home all my life and gave my life to Christ with the help of my mom when I was four. Growing up, I of course knew about God since both my parents are Christian, but I didn't start taking the Bible seriously or even really understand it to be a real thing beyond a bunch of fictional bedtime stories until I was 11 and was on an all-time low in my faith and felt God for the first time at Bible camp. After that, my relationship with God became really strong. I was praying regularly, reading my Bible, and just all around, I loved God and wanted to be closer to Him. Of course, since then, I've still had my doubts and struggles in my faith and even questions on whether or not I believed in God anymore. But despite all my doubts and worries, God was always there for me and always led me back to Him. My relationship with God still isn't perfect, nor do I even know half as much about God and the Bible as I'd like to. But some things I do know is that my relationship with God has truly changed my life for the better, and that God has blessed me in so many ways, some of which I didn't even think were possible. One of the biggest struggles I've had in growing in my faith has been sharing my story and telling others about God. I feel that God is telling me that baptism is my next step in growing my relationship with Him through those things. I'm excited to take this step in my faith, and I'm especially excited to share it with all of you. A verse that means a lot to me is Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, which reads, Be strong and courageous, do not, be, do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor, or forsake you. I love that verse as it shows me that God is always there for me, and because of that, I have no reason to worry or be afraid. Throughout my whole life, I've been blessed to have an amazing group of strong Christian friends to hold me accountable, help me stay disciplined in my faith, and stay true to myself and my beliefs. On top of that, I am so thankful for Jenna, Allison, and McKenna, who are the amazing life group leaders I've had at Senior Youth here, that have had been nothing but helpful, supportive, and just all around have shown me the true love of Jesus. God has been doing wonderful things in my life in both leading me in what to do and where to go when I have no clue what I am doing, and also giving me an amazing opportunities to share about him and his word. I cannot wait to see what he has in store for me next. So here I am, publicly declaring my faith in Jesus as I am getting baptized today. Thank you for listening. Um, And then, Noelle, you are up next. So in the same way, I'll ask the same question. So is this your decision today, Noelle, to be baptized? Yes. Awesome. And Noelle, do you declare Jesus Christ as your own personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Awesome. So according to Jesus, who is the authority and the head of the church, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amazing.